Excuse me, sir, can I get on your boat? Put these on first. Okay. Oh, I'm so comfy. Thank you. Hey guys, welcome to the show. We are officially billionaire shoppers because we just got our first order from Timu. You ready to find out what's in it? I am so ready. And we ordered it a couple of weeks ago. It arrived very quickly, faster than Amazon. And what <gasps> is going on here? Oh this is why I ordered from Timu. This is yeah. was only $2. It's to fill up an inflatable boat. On Amazon, it was over $10. And in the shops, it's 15 bucks. On Timu, on Timu it's $2. And you know, it probably takes them like 10 cents just to manufacture this. So they've already made a tiny profit, I say. Well, I'm just glad I made a savings. That's awesome. Does it work? That is the question we're gonna find out soon. Yep, twist locks in, that's good. So as you can see, it fit in the hole just fine and it did manage to pump up that one. So I'm gonna be pumping up this one as well. Good job. You pick okay. one, I pick one. We're billionaires. We can afford everything on TV. Love it. What is this? I'm it's your socks. Oh. Yeah, the covers for your shoes. This is so useful. Okay, I mean, we were just looking for stuff to make our team order a bit higher than we needed. You needed $15 over here in Australia. <laughs> yes. And I thought to myself, well, why not get these little booties? Because they always, like, if you have guests over your house and you don't want them to, oh, hello. That's nice. It's a fan. That's a cute little fan. I like it. And we'll, we'll think about the socks. So if you have guests around your house and you don't want them to like step on your beautiful carpet, you can give them one of these booties. And we chose these booties because they are waterproof and they look like they can be breathable as well, which actually I think I'm quite satisfied with that. And this fan over here, this was $5, but I'm a bit disappointed because it's USB, the old one. It's not USB-C. And the advert said it was USB-C. That's annoying. Yeah, but it does work. So what will you do? Will you like contest it with Timu? I'll, 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 I'll check the advert again because I did have loads of them opened up. So maybe you chose the wrong one. So maybe one. I chose the wrong one. Are you happy with how strong it is? Yeah. Is it all right? Yeah, it was. It's got it's multiple... It's quite like movie, movie effect, but... You know, well, span the size, I think it's, it's pretty, pretty good. good. Look at that. Boom shakalaka. It is charging. And you can also... What? You can also use it while it is charging. That is cool, my friend. See? Feel the air. Whether the battery holds up, that's going to be another question. What's next? Okay, I've got this in front of me. This is oh. a... Oh my gosh, that's so cool. It's a tuner. That, that is it's... so awesome. This tiny little thing here is a guitar tuner. Now, we've got all of this stuff here for oh under gosh. $20, Australian dollars. So in your wow. currency, it's probably like a five pounds. Oh my God, this is cute. So you, I don't even know anything about guitars, but look, it comes with a battery as well. How thoughtful of them. So they give you a battery, they give you a clip. And I guess whenever you strum your guitar, it tells you what you need to do. That's awesome. Over here, I've got a universal socket, so I can actually, I don't need to change the heads. I can just go ahead and open up. So we're going to be testing this stuff out. Well, it's not broken. Okay. It's not broken, and it did come out. Let's screw it back in. So you just got to push it really hard. Yeah, it kind of works. Well, when you're, when you're in a, I wouldn't use it if you got the right socket, or when you're in a bind. <laughs> I'm just expecting it to be exploding. <laughs> Will it have enough talk to spin? Mm. We're gonna find out. Who knows, but I have got something over here. Now, I have no idea what this is. This is like maybe some Velcro, but again, I didn't do the order, yes. so I'm not sure. Is it Velcro? Yes. Oh, it's Velcro. Yes. Very it's thin like, strips. It's super thin. I don't know why I, I got it. Decided. Why I, did you get it again? I kind of forgot. <laughs> <laughs> it could be useful. I think it was like 90 things. cents. It was so cheap. You can't really get wrong with that, can and this, you? This is like... glue. Welding how, how glue. How do you attach this? You'd have to glue it on one surface and then use it on the other Oh, is it not multiple? No, it's just one. It's just like one. One is like the hook and one is the... Um... So there's no... It's not adhesively backed? Unless you can split it, but no, it's not. It might be adhesively backed. It always is. No, honey. I think this one is just a double-sided Velcro. Well, you're in luck because I also got some welding glue. So this is meant to be super glue on steroids. It's meant wow. to weld things together. I got some issues with my shoes. They're a bit talkative. Damn you, shoe. I can't afford new shoes because no one's subscribing to this channel anymore. Appreciate that. So I'm gonna just try this bad boy out. Yeah, just a lot of glue around here as well. Nice. And I'll splodge it down. Now, the one thing I do hate about super glue is that, oof, it stinks. It smells just like super glue anyway. The one thing I hate about super glue is that. It dries fast. 
and the lid always gets messed up. Now it does seem very fluid and the container seems a bit good, so I'm hoping it'll be all right. So a few seconds there and look, my shoes hopefully won't be able to talk soon. So yeah, super glue, thumbs up, boom, fixed. And uh, don't breathe in. Yeah, probably. I was about to say, is that like a warning on the back there? It's like a big exclamation mark. It says, <laughs> it says warning. Imitating by inhalation. Imitating. Don't know what imitating means. Inhaling. I im imtat. <laughs> I imtat contain with an e at the end. Cyanurite type ester, which which may cause allergic skin react bon. Use with adequate ventilate ventilation. Get medical attention for any eye or internal contact. Keep away from children. For Basically, use it is only. toxic stuff. So uh, I don't know why I got it. I kind of got excited. I needed mm. to get that 15 bucks. But over here, I've got some more stuff that will cause you some issues. Oh, and yeah. this is electrical tape. So it's liquid electrical tape. Do you know electrical tape? You oh cover up gosh. the... This one, you just put the bit of blobs of liquid and it forms a seal around the wires. There's some pretty clever stuff out there. I'm not sure about the toxicity of all of these it things. It was so but... cheap. Like in the shops, it's like 15 to 20 bucks. Whereas this was like a dollar. Is that because the ones in the shop have passed like regulatory standards and this one hasn't? Yeah, I think I'm only going to be using this to end the ropes. So use it as okay, rope fine. ends. I think yeah, that's I don't good. think I'll actually use it on actual. Oh no, I've got a, a graze in my wire. What can I do? I can put some tape around it or boom, use the brain. Use some liquid electrical tape. So you get a nice seal. So that's, that's good quality. Boom, just look how gorgeous that is. It looks really nice. I'm actually impressed. So I'm gonna splodge some on. Oh, that is nice. Look at that, splodged it on. And let's seal it up. Get rid of that crap. Smells, smells, smells good, surprisingly. But I wouldn't smell it if I was you though. So hopefully, in a bit, it's gonna form. Come on, that is really, it is really nice. It is really nice stuff. Look at that. Look how good of a cover that is. Straight up. Just completely seals the wire. I'm surprised it works so well. It does say that it's very safe and it, you know, the main material is glue. Keep it out of your eye. Go to the hospital if you put it in your eye and all that kind of weird stuff. Shelf life of three years, that's what it says. And it does say it's high heat resistant. Don't know the actual temperature, but apparently it's good stuff. And look, it's just drying so far. And it's going to dry up and I have now shielded my wire. So, what do you know? What is this, Ash? What is this? I'm going to give this to you. Oh, this is, I don't this, know what this is. It's a drill bit. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Frank for this. Oh, yeah. So this one, apparently, it's going to work. You can bend oh. and it will still, this will spin and it will allow you to rotate. So you're basically doing stuff at an angle. Yeah, like, see, like you spin this and it rotates the, the top. Spin. So I actually use it with a bit of talk. Last time I bought something from eBay, You're it broke. Shit. It was a plastic one. So now I've got the metal okay, one. Well, Hopefully it'll work. Because I'm not so sure. So we got. Jury's out. And I got one more. Oh, there's more. What's that? Oh, you also get a little bolt. Oh. So you actually get the, the hex connector. Cool. That's the back. awesome. Yeah. So I guess your haul has been pretty awesome so far. So you've got some Velcro tape, you've got a guitar tune, that's pretty cool. I'll say that in itself is probably worth 20 bucks, right? Oh, I'm excited Maybe for a guitar tune. You've got crow, guitar, bass, ukulele, and what is that, Volvo Penta? Yep, sounds like those engines are going to need a tune up. Ching! All right, guys, so under $20, we've got this massive haul from Timu. But the question is, was it worth it? You guys be the judge. Let us know. Let me know if you guys are going to be ordering from Timu. I think I'm definitely going to be ordering again. I've got some more, you know, yeah. trinkets. We've got kidding. loads of stuff. We're literally going around the house and saying, oh, we could do with this, we not could that. do that. I started going to Kmart, which is the cheapest shop in the world. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, it's actually not that cheap. It's cheaper than Timu. I can save a bit of money. So there's something wrong with me right now. So I'm, I'm all Timu'd out. So no. I'm ready to do my next order. I think you just like shopping. Like a billionaire. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I hope you guys found this video useful and enjoyed the show. Timu. T Timu. 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 Named after Timu Jin, who is actually the real name of Genghis Khan. 
Lesson what? learned. Actually, I don't know if it was named after him, but Timu is short for Timu Jin. Mind blown. Well, Timu Jin was Genghis Khan at the very least. Wow. Hope you guys found this video useful and enjoyed the Good knowledge. Show. Drop in knowledge. <laughs>